Aquarius, hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 25th to the 31st of October 2021. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur and cross watches are welcome. Alright, so we've got, oops, we've got number 55, Snake Spirit, Time to Heal. Love that. Everybody needs time out for themselves, doing some self-healing there, some space, but coming out, shedding the skin and coming out as that brand new entity. Refreshed and rejuvenated. So, Mentology. Yeah, the full moon in Sagittarius, look at the bigger picture. Okay, yeah, see things a lot more clearer. Um, could be in a negative way, could be in a positive way. But um, maybe with that time to heal, gives you time to look at the bigger picture. See, my landlady's deaf and she's got the radio up full blast. And, I'm hoping it's not coming over the video because <laughs> it's hot here. I don't want to shut the door. All right, so Aquarius. Overall, you've got the Empress. Love that. Very intuitive, very aware of what's going on around you, possibly seeing that bigger picture. But at the same time, um, yeah, very aware of your own feelings, very aware of how others are feeling, very aware that you may have needed that time to heal. Past energies, Ace of Swords, Princess of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. There was an emotional attachment that was left behind here in the past. It wasn't needed. It was um, clearing that out of the way, ready for a fresh new chapter, fresh new beginning, possibly a job offer here. And... Um, that may have been the cause of having to walk away from some sort of emotional attachment. It doesn't have to be someone, maybe a home, maybe your hometown, um, anything like that. Present energies, you've got the Hermit, the Magus, the Tower, super energy, three major arcanas, could be dealing with a Virgo, seeing light at the end of the tunnel, time to heal, doing that soul searching, creating a way to release all this energy that's not needed, that was back here from the past, even further possibly, and building that solid new foundation from scratch. Future energies, Queen of Wands, the Hanged One transition. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but again, leaving that chapter behind, riding into this fresh new beginning, this fresh new chapter, and love that. Could be waiting for a decision to be made, and um, you may be waiting for a while, feeling like you're sitting on the fence there, but you've got the confidence and determination to go after your dreams, whatever that new chapter does hold for you there. So love it Aquarius, let's see what the universe has to say. Right, starting with this Empress overall for the week. Princess of Swords, the Magician, the Hierophant, could be dealing with a Taurus here, but up for the challenge of what this week brings you. <laughs> Love that. Bring it on. Creating a way to move forward, following your own heart, following your own beliefs, not caving into peer pressure of others telling you what to do or who to be with, where to work, etc. Doing it your way this week. Love it past energies, the Ace of Swords, you had the Five of Swords, Three of Wands, and the High Priestess. Wow, not wanting to let your guard down too much. Look at the bigger picture, you do have that Three of Wands, that clarity right there, back there in the past. May have been a battle that you've been going through in the past here, and walking away. It's not worth fighting for anymore, and um, having a fresh new start because you do actually see things a lot more clearer. As I said, it may have been in a negative way there. Princess of Pentacles, you've got the Six of Pentacles. 
some of these are upside down ace of pentacles eight of cups equal give and take okay always say if someone's doing all the giving it means someone else is doing all the taking you have got this fresh new chapter this new beginning here and um, making sure this time round it's equal give and take but first there's this emotional attachment to leave behind because that's there for clarification and it's also there to clarify next with this eight of cups okay seven of wands the moon four of wands yeah persistence here somebody's not coming um not giving up not quitting here okay hidden fears commitment stability but leaving that emotional attachment behind first maybe not giving up on yourself here could be dealing with a Pisces as well somebody as I said maybe really take that leap of faith as that next step of commitment but um, first there was something here that needed to be left behind in order for that to happen so Aquarius present energies you've got the hermit with the king of swords king of cups and the nine of pentacles look at those strong court cards with the two kings there in control of your emotions using your head over your heart thinking things through logically and having that success right there at your fingertips that light at the end of the tunnel is um, maybe closer than you think and the magus look at that for the core of your reading queen of wands princess of wands and the wheel of fortune yeah you've got the queen of wands down here as well that confidence and determination very compassionate giving energy willing to share your dreams and goals here creating a way to move forward and have that wheel bring all that good luck good fortune all that success to you but um it does mean keep moving forward towards that as well keep that energy going and the tower you got the queen of pentacles princess of pentacles ten of pentacles could be dealing with an earth sign taurus virgo or capricorn maybe all around work here at present so um, that's what you're focusing on is um things that are happening at work could be a job offer here could be um, a lot of success happening at work and proud of your achievements and how far you have come future energies queen of wands You've got Judgment, Knight of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Keeping an open mind towards this new chapter, this new beginning. Fresh new start here. There is love on offer here. You may be offering love to someone. They may be offering love to you. Having the confidence and determination to move forward with that. Keeping an open mind towards someone, <laughs> possibly. And having this fresh new start doesn't mean it has to be somebody brand new maybe an existing relationship but just a fresh new chapter happening here the hanged one you get the nine of cups the tower and the queen of cups and again that love is there for the taking love and emotional happiness there being able to release all this energy that's not needed proud of how far you've come emotionally maybe it's up to you to make that decision clarifying the hanged one as you finish with transition the five of pentacles the hermits and the fool yeah ready to take that leap of faith take a chance and move forward here to some sort of new beginning something that's going to be um, bring a lot more warmer energy you have been left out in the cold here abandoned isolated here or blocked but um, now ready to take that leap of faith you see that light at the end of the tunnel ready to go for it so love that Aquarius four of wands on the bottom before I shuffle commitment and stability for this new beginning so the universe has to say strength the star king of pentacles yeah could be dealing with a Leo or an Aquarius okay that's your own energy but following your dreams following your goals there's success inundated with success and abundance here okay but it does take strength to follow your own dreams too so let's see what open to spirit oracle has to say right 
love this too connect to the power of your spirit you are stronger than you know love that from the cat to the shadow of the lion brilliant love that so that's what i have for you for the week do hope it helped thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time see ya bye